you are still watching Wave. Vlogging has become a popular way for people to connect over the internet. People upload videos of themselves and talk about their experiences and build viewers and fans that watch and support them. Today is dedicated to the act of vlogging and building communities. So it is called Vlogging Day. Happy Vlogging Day. Oh, wow. I know Mary. Mary, I will drag you today. Because Mary started a YouTube channel, and after the first video, we've not seen anything again. This was like three months ago or four months ago. Wow. And we have not seen anything on that YouTube channel all these days. <laughs> when you come, you now come and tell us like, subscribe, and share. When you're not giving us content. <laughs> eh? I actually have so much content sitting on my phone. You it's just, just hard to put it together. Yeah, that's, that's actually the problem. So, because I want it to be so perfect, mm. I look at it and I'm like, oh no. I, I, I did a um, follow-up today from like yesterday when I got back from work. And someone sent me a message. It's like, why are you not vlogging? Mm. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's just easier to do the 15 seconds and, video yeah, on, yeah. on Instagram mm. and, you know, allow people follow up your life. But when you now have to, you know, put compile it together, it together yeah. you have to, you know, put some nice <laughs> put effects. Music. Music. <laughs> it's just like, oh, God. I how do I start? I think that's the part where I just close my phone yes. and just give and, up. Like, and then trust me, <laughs> these things take up a lot of space yeah, when yeah, you actually want to compile it. Like, but I'll get to it. No Tell excuses. No it. excuses. No excuses. EC also does something very interesting with her addiction. So I was looking at her page the other day and I was just smiling to myself. <laughs> when she said, Parents, don't tell your children to say spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> So what's oh. it? What's it called? How it's, it's about her addiction. It's um, spaghetti. It's, let me, what am I speaking for? Isi, please tell them what you do. Isi, what should we say? Uh, um, everybody knows that they call me Oyekuzi, and <laughs> and I am a diction teacher. I teach diction to individuals and to corporate entities as well as children. So. I've heard somebody saying, oh, I'm going to have my spaghetti in class. And it was weird to me. So I was wondering, how did this child get to know about saying spaghetti as spaghetti? you know? <laughs> and I realized that this must have come from home, basically, or the environment they found themselves. So I try to educate individuals on how to speak right and pronounce their words correctly and choose their choice of words appropriately as well. So that's what I do on my page, Diction360. And I happen to have a course coming up this weekend. So really? me being here, I'm actually taking a breather. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's nice. Well done. I mean, I give it up to you guys because it can yeah. never be me. I can't Same here. Make a, you, see, I have, you see the videos I have on my phone, but you will never see the likes of the Never. It will remain there. If I want to show you, I'll just say, come and see here, and yeah. then that's about it. Really so I do, I, I do, I take a lot of pictures. Uh, Maybe not of myself regularly, <laughs> but I do have pictures of myself. But to tell you how bad it is, I just don't post. Like, literally, people have to tell me, NJ, it's time to change your WhatsApp <laughs> DP. Like, it's so, it's good, but you have to change it. Like, you've had the same DP for a long time. So it takes a while. I guess some people just have it yes, in them, yeah. and some people don't, because I'm one of those people who don't. Like, <laughs> it's not. But yeah, well done to all the vloggers out yep. there. We were planning a trip, and vlogging actually helped me because i have you need to see my youtube search history yeah. i have said for everybody that has traveled yeah. to that place check what it is they've helped it me, what it is. and it has helped that's how i was able to come up with some of the activities that you know um we are supposed to do but then nj what do you find for us in the news oh well in my news today is a funny video um i don't know if we're gonna have that up but uh it's a video of the Senate president making a last minute speech, I think at the end of a, a day session mm -hmm. or the whole session of the um, ministerial screening. But the main part of the news is that the social economic uh, rights and accountability project is called CIRA. Mm -hmm. They have vowed to file a lawsuit against the Senate president, Godswill Abu, over the comment he made during the plenary on Tuesday, August 8th, um, that a token has been sent to the accounts of every senator as they proceed on recess. And um, that they're suing the president for that statement because 
uh, they, he can be making such a statement while 137 million uh, poor Nigerians face economic uh, hardship. Mm. And, you know, the video is actually quite funny. I don't know if we're going to... Yes. The, the, we're going to... Yeah. So you hear, that, you hear that video and he starts up. And I think at some point after making that statement, he realizes he was still... They he realizes he was still alive. <laughs> and then there's a shock on his face and then he... Uh, cha changes and says, I take back that statement. I think we should watch the video. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's very important for us to actually watch the video. The, of the leader. And then, as soon as uh, Senator Omae picks up, takes his oath of office, we shall rearrange the office of the leadership. In order to enable all of us to enjoy our holidays, a token has been sent to our various accounts by the by the clerk of the National Assembly. Hmm. And after this statement, he realized, you know, that he had that he was still. I think he was still alive. It was and at that moment. It was at that moment he realized he. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so uh, he changed his statement <laughs> and reversed it and said that prayers. Um, <laughs> had been sent to their mailbox. It was. <laughs> Which actually, in my opinion, made the situation it too was. glaring. Mm -hmm. Like, and yeah. it made it actually wasn't the situation because the first statement was already taken and it was taken in silence. Mm -hmm. So the second one didn't make any I difference because people had already seen that and that has been going viral on all social media platforms. And uh, well, to say that we are surprised that we can hear <laughs> statements like this still in Nigeria is us fooling ourselves. So statements like this are made every other day in Nigeria, and Nigerians have gotten to the point where we just sit back because we're tired of fighting. I don't know if we're tired of fighting or we're taking a break, but yes, I know because I know that in some civilized countries, a statement like this can cost someone their seat. A statement like this can cost someone their job. So we are, I think we need to get to the point where our leaders are found responsible, take responsibility for their speech actions um, and what they say. The same way they were holding Dr. Tuboson a few days mm -hmm. ago responsible for a tweet that he had made uh, a, a while past about his, you know, his feelings about Nigeria and the Nigerian passport. So I think um, we are getting to that point where statements like this should not be made by people who we trust with our live money, votes, and what have you. So um, I don't know how far the, the CERAP is going to go with this, their lawsuit, but uh, just as a Nigerian citizen, it's a case of, it's very, very important for you to show some empathy, especially knowing fully well what the, the situation of, the current situation of the country. Uh, I, I hear this evening that the fuel prices will go up as long as the dollar is rising. Yeah. And I think as uh, today, the dollar is at about 900, if I'm right. Yeah. So it means that we're also go about to see a hike in the fuel price. You know what, let's not see. even get to all of that. Let's, let, let, let's first discuss work-life balance. <laughs> let's, um, Isi, what did you find for us in the news quickly? I tried to steer away from the Nigerian debacle and I picked something like a feel-good story which is best UTME candidate clears wired result with straight A's mm. basically so what that I for me it was a top-notch performance by our one and only um, candidate uh, she was the one that, um, you know, we, if you re recall what happened previously with the Mesoma issue, she is supposed to be the candidate that got the highest score. And again, like I stated earlier, good meat meet needs no bush. She, she actually stepped up to the plate again by, you know, performing top notch in her exams, wide exams. Um, she is, let me, Give you a breakdown of what she got in her exams and the, the subjects she scored um, the A's on. And they are, she's a 16-year-old girl of um, deeper life 
High School, Mowe Ogun State, and she scored A1 in English Language, Mathematics, A1, Chemistry, A1, Biology, A1, um, it's still going on. We have Further Math, A1, Economics, A1, Civic Education, A1, Computer Studies, A1, Dyeing and Bleaching, A1. And what actually gave her the B2 was Physics. So we need more children like this to step up to the plate. And I would say congratulations. I'm sure her parents are quite proud of her. And I'm sure we as a country, we are quite proud of her as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mary, what do you find for hmm. House on the Rock Church Pastor Uche Aigbe has been arraigned before Chief Magistrate Court in the Federal Capital Territory after being arrested for preaching with a gun. Uche Aigbe promised Ukachuku and Olakunle Ogunleye, who were charged with criminal conspiracy, illegal possession of prohibited firearms, inciting disturbance and criminal intimidation, pleaded not guilty. The police had, al had alleged that the defendants, who are all members of House on the Rock Church in Wuye Abuja, conspired with each other to illegally un un or lawfully possess an AK-47 rifle on February 12, 2023. He also claimed that they made the inciting and intimidating statements to the church congregation that caused alarm and breach of peace, contravening Section 3 of the Firearms Act 2004, contravening Sections 97. Um, basically, he got on stage and was they claimed they were preaching about faith in church and I don't know why you have to be so practical <laughs> to actually would we say rent now or he definitely mm -hmm. owns the the fire um, and then you come out in public or maybe he thought because he was a pastor, you know, so they won't do anything to him. But yeah. Chief Magistrate Abubakar Ismail, who presided over the case on Thursday, August 10, struck out the no case submission made by the defendants on grounds of the trial lacking merit and substance. Ismail held that the evidence presented in court showed that the defendants had been effectively linked with the charges preferred against him by the police. I'm not sure if we have um, that video to play, but then let me just go on to my news. Nigerians to pay 107,500 naira for IELCS from September 2023. When I saw this news, I was like, people just don't want anybody to jack by again, Sha. They are just looking for all the ways to. I mean, currently, it runs from about 80,000 to 90,000 naira right now. And they've announced, the British Council has announced that um, from September, well, Nigerians are going to start paying 107,500. First of all, I don't. Well, let me say I don't understand why it's so expensive to write this exam. I mean, I understand, but you understand? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is people that want to go somewhere. Now. I suppose they are just trying to cut down the amount of people. That's what it is, is actually. Yeah. That's what it is. They're just trying to make it um, a lot more difficult for people to. Well, Nigerians, have you met Nigerians? Determined. <laughs> Did you, so did you watch it? Oh, Josh, Josh was on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, so I think I think that was yesterday, actually. Okay. That happened yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very resilient. <laughs> Anyway, I can't wait for us to dive into the topic very quickly today and then to have our callers start calling in. But then before we do that, let's go on a short break. See you after the break. <laughs> 